Now, when you are presented with a set of data that does not have a processing method associated with it, this is the message that you are going to be given. It's going to allow you to take one of the default methods that are available in the system and be able to associate that with your data as kind of a starting point as to where I'm going to start with uh, looking at my data. Now, you have to know a little bit about what you're going to want to do with the data. If I would like to be able to create a calibration curve so I can quantitate against a calibrated um, calibration curve, then I cannot use a GCLC area percent because area percent won't open up or make available to me the calibration section of that method. So instead, I am going to call for the GCLC quantitative for um, method. So GC slash LC quantitative. And then I can do one of three things. I can either open up the data and look at the data with no method at all, which means that it's not going to show me any type of integrated results at all. I could then just link this method to the data, which again is not going to show me any integration at all, or I can link and process. In this particular case, I want you to select the link only, link only, because I want to show you that when you link a method, a processing method, to a set of data, and you do not reprocess that set of data, notice that the chromatograms themselves have no integrated results. So you haven't done any type of data analysis. This is the truest form of raw data. I've got chromatograms that have been created, but I have absolutely no data analysis that has been done on those chromatograms at all. So if I do want to have some integration that's done, then I have to reprocess that data with the method that I had just opened up. So in the upper ribbon, select the reprocess all icon, and that's now going to reprocess all of my injections for me. And currently, we still have the chromatographic layout open, probably. In this case, I want to go back to the result layout instead of the chromatographic layout. That's going to give me my chromatogram window up top and then my injection results down below. 